This is this is going to be a very brief meeting, a press briefing of the president of our and Lagos, which he has deemed very necessary in view of the sake of tax and the happenings in our and Lagos, Lagos, particularly within the past 48 hours. Also have the idea of this judgment before now and ask me either I take all the members of Hanese and join whatever group we formed. I said no, or I give him 15 million. Naira. Wow. <laughs> if not, he will scatter whatever I'm doing. He will make sure he disorganize the government if I don't give him money. And I said I can't give you 15 million. Or what? That was the problem we're having today. And though the the res uh, judgment that I'm going to stay more four years. But surprisingly yesterday we and forced to took the microphone from the man who was presiding the meeting at that moment because we can't call them member because I have no executive according to the judgment of the court. They have been sacked. And the other people that I find that there also few of them joined them, few chairman, who are not in the constitution of Hanese. So whatever those who do is not for what we are talking about there is no single executive at the moment. So when this town around, I know one of them who is their leader, or John Uche, someone who is holding such judgment, you can impeach him. If not, 
Rogers, um, what do you call it? Um, who of them man would have a bitch. Or he had to have to stand firm and preach him before he come into the office, including the one that happens in Anambra before uh, P2B and Nige. Once you have such judgment in the court, if you're against it, they approach the court. That's why I say we don't have much to say. You, as press man, media man, you know how to factor your information. Thank you and God bless. I want to ask. Sorry, uh, your name and your media. Yeah, my name is Siracus. I report for PNN. Now, this judgment is a terms of settlement after those uh, years of. Uh, yeah, terms of settlement. Settlement, yes. yes. That's why and you have from the high court. From the high court. With this, okay. this is the original copy. Original copy. I have been with original copy, not even photocopy. copy. Yes. 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 Yes we we'll make sure that uh, we are up to control because we hold our meeting complete. We hold it intact and finish our meeting. And the story is there. They just run into us and start pushing chairs. I think they must have negotiated. You know, sometimes they only get problem if you can't pay the price to <laughs> negotiate with those stout. Now, please, another question, since they have this other and what do you intend to do in order to, because you can't act in a vacuum, just from the judgment now, I saw it online, but I wanted to authenticate it. Yes. Now, now that you are the only person that was, the court recognizes now, yes. what, are you, what do you intend to do? Yes, if you, you go, to, if you go through the documents, you will see that I have appointed the chairman of the electoral committee. Yes. Who is going to conduct the election okay. of Hanese. Okay. It's, it's, it's. So when is the date for the election? When, when is it? Well, um, because we have not really organized the I mean the, the formation or would I say we have not really said okay you are going to hold the post of uh, Imo State they are going okay. to hold the post of Abia State. Okay. So, so the, the zoning has not been no properly no. arranged. No. So we need to postpone the date of the election. We are also proposed the one of local government have been no. completed, but we know we have some you know some problems. That's how election happens, which we are going to set up in no distant time. Yeah, I know. I saw the word last time. So, aside from this, do you have anything to say? That's right. Your name and the name is this. Okay. Okay, my name is Dr. Felix Ferguson. Um, actually, um, I'm sure many of you know the foundation of the this is this is I went to court to challenge his um, ascension to the office of the president of on SND Bolego State because I was grieved with some other people that um, the election that we have conducted and um, a winner emerged to the person of um, Chief Leo Okafo or Bao Jojo. Um, this man being a very wonderful man, he was able to Lord, you voted on his own side and you abandoned us. So we passed vote of no confidence and elected another person. He also took the other person. And that person emerged again. He also took him. We were still in the court. But you know, in the law court, there's no morality. It is justice that prevails. So at the end of the day, we actually agreed to harmonize and come together to become one or another. We want to do away with faction. And um, 
we come together and we all approach the court for what we can call a consent judgment. For every lawyer, even you journalists, know the meaning of consent judgment. You cannot give a consent judgment without the, the collaboration and approval and the agreement of the two both parties. So that's what was given. Uh, but um, some other groups now who have been merchandising or harnessing, who feel because any group that is coming, you must go, if the election is coming, you must go and settle some people and give them a certain amount of money, millions, before they will to approve you and endorse you to go. But um, with what the Lord have done and what the courts have already agreed with the parties, they agree they are not interested in that because they want the election to go so that they can be able to uh, benefit and profit from such illegal Schengenian manipulative Bahamutian um, enterprise, which we have stood to say no to that. You know, to so that what is it? Well, there's a child play, a child, uh, college child play opera at uh, yesterday when some group of uh, miscreants uh, headed by a certain person wanted to say they are impeaching him. How can you impeach a person? Impeachment have a procedure. Definitely. It had a procedure and then um, to thought have to be there mm -hmm. and a lot of things have to be agreed and the lawyer will be there. Whatever, don't just need to make a person who impeach you. That's not the way it's done in a civilized uh, climb, as you all know. So we, we and um, also, this uh, court judgment have been served at Davis 1 on the parent body, which is a new group. It's here. It have also been served. So no, anything they come to do in Lagos is nullity. So because those people are also in connivance and they're misleading Enugu to see that they must have a, a election so they can profit here. As we are talking to you, election for the local government have, have been done and money has been made out of it. And that money is not in the hand of the president. The same group that's also hijacked it. And as we are talking, no account has been rendered on the local government and the same one to have a Latin. And when the money is in their pocket, they will dictate to the president or dictate to anybody how much is their own percentage, how much they take. That's exactly what happened in the last election. All the money realized and cut it away by them to any to go and share their round table. None. How much was given to you? I think they will give you 500,000. One, One million. And at the end, and the what was left for you is a 700. 700. And another person took another 200 from you, they made 500,000. Can he use 500,000 to rent this edifice? This man with his friends came together and rented here, equipped here, and other things before the organization took off. Is it 500,000 you can use to rent here? It's not our property. And he is first working on the property of our organization where we build our separate. And he's working on it. He's actually has secured their land. We're working on it. We challenge them to come. But these people don't want a good thing. They want to wear their property. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're here. Thank you very much. So, aside from the country, the 2023 general elections was approaching. You have asked for people who live as the president of the people. Well, um, I'm in Lagos. We have a national board that talk about national. But I am here to talk about uh, the governor of Lagos State, which we have no other, <laughs> other candidate than Baba Jide Samo. Well, this is the only one I can tell you that I'm in a position to actually say something about. Is it the position of people in Lagos? What you said now, is it the position of people? Well, I, well, for sure, I, um, we don't have one party in, in Nigeria, but I think majority okay. can tell you 90%. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, it was our, this um, organization called uh, Hanez Ndibu, the social cultural organization, highly apolitical, but um, we work with the government of the day. We're like soldiers and police. Whoever comes as government, mm -hmm. we support you. Lastly, sir, what is your general advice for all people now? What are you telling people to do in Lagos? What will you advise them to do so that uh, Lagos will have a new direction? Because we have extremely been impeachment which has no legal foundation according to what I've been clearly explained. So what do people do now for future people? About the how will Hanese move forward? What general advice are you giving to all this people? is the secret of Hanese and that's where we are taking our first conference. So you're already in Hanese. 
and seeing the faces are here, I can tell you these are new people that are coming. You know, sometimes, especially if you don't do well in your area, if you are, if you do well in your place, you will be going home triumphantly, and uh, with legacy, you would like to leave. Right. You understand? But what we are doing in Central is that the way they were doing Ohaneze, the way they were running Ohaneze affair was completely an insult to Nibu. And we try to do it the best. We try to do our best to put it in a better shape. Right. This is the first woman leader of Ohaneze. He knows how it was running. Sometimes most of the, the leaders run it in their bedroom as sectorates. If you are not close to them, you don't know what is happening. The information doesn't go out. They are not close to government. They are not close to even the, the elites that we have. We have so many elites in Lagos here that we can also finance Ohandese. Because Ohandese Nibu, Enugu is claiming national base on the southeast they are operating. And that's where it was formed. But mm -hmm. they, we don't have any allocation. No, nothing like allocation from the national. As they are dealing on national uh, issues, as the election is coming, they deal with whoever is the you know, favorite candidate and make what they can make and nothing is coming to any chapter. So that is why we have our bylaw that govern us. So that we can be able to stimulate our way and go also to the government of the day where we decided. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, because Yes, and then another one again, another one again that we have make it mandatory that any Ohanese member, Ohanese member, because when you say every Igbo man, there are some that are not financial member, but we have almost seventy percent of Igbo uh, who is our members, and before you can um, benefit anything as a member of Ohanese, you must have your PVC. That's our we take PVC as our ID card. We don't have any other ID card more than PVC. That's our ID card. So we make it compulsory that every Ohanese member must have PVC. Because when you say all Nibo, you don't know when Nibo Lagos belongs to or when Akikenga belongs to. But this is the umbrella that governs every association of Nibo. So I believe that we have over 70% of those who call themselves a member of Ohanese, financial member of Ohanese. And if you're in a relation, you got over 70 percent, you have won it, whether it's another nation relation or whatever. So, and um, for me, I can tell you that every evil man, too, like you said, believe in what they see, what they touch, and what they test. And the government of the day have shown us we touch as we see and tested. So, we have no other option. Than the government of the day, especially the state government, who is working in hand in hand, in hand with me, hand in hand with me as well. And I want to say something again that's very, very important. The person I appointed as the uh, chairman of a letter committee, um, what do you call it? Um, chairman of a letter committee, I'm sure the name is on the judgment of the court. And he went to the court to sign that Enugu will not contest any election. So any other thing he's doing, Try to play another game. So there will be no relation on Saturday, neither on Sunday. And uh, if you go contrary to what the judgment of court, you are on your own. If the government, if the judge they say it means nothing, who am I? But there will be no relation. We will call it this Saturday. Yes. On Sunday, that is whatever. Yes. Yes. No date. No date. Because the zoning formula has not been covered. You must zone it now. But I will tell you this is what you want. We have never got a uh, vice president. We have never got a woman leader. Please, let's this. Let give me this. Then we think, we talk, we say, oh yes, that's true. Just like me. Mm -hmm. But you have never been the president. Why Imo have gone twice? Anambra, you can also see they have a lot of uh, you know vital post in uh Nibo Lagos. So now the zoning formula is the key issues we're having now about the state ESCO. That is the problem. I have secured the job. I'm in my second tenor based on the judgment. I'm already on my second tenor cruising. 
based on the judgment of uh, Lagos State High Court. And the harmonization is what we are talking about. Let this group that will have this an agreement brought the own person, their own um, candidate, mm -hmm. yeah. while the other people brought their candidate, so that what the that. judgment of court will stand as they already stand. Okay. advice is that we we'll see what we have passed through and uh, we should know the way and who we cast our vote to. It is not after casting the vote you begin to complain. The government is not good. The government is not bad. It's bad. It's good. It's bad. Depending on who you vote for. We must vote for the best candidate. And the best candidate should be in your heart what you discuss with your God. Don't just believe what politicians are saying in their mouth. Believe in what your condition at present and what is going to be in future. I think that is very, very important. For me, I don't believe you can see that uh, when you talk of Southeast, in the way things stand now, we are completely out. So, but it's between our own brother because South is our brother. I believe, I didn't say vote for this man or force you to vote for anyone, but we know that for me, 100%, I can tell you that in Lagos State, where we decide, where we have the most, the biggest, the number, whatever you put it, operation of Undibo, anywhere in the world is Lagos State. And we must know where to cast our vote and who to cast our vote for so that life will be easy for us. When you talk of Nigeria, you can only talk of where you live. If you live in Lagos or you live in Southeast. And brother, I have won my people vote for the best candidate. For Lagos State Governor, there's no two way about it. It's not a must, because I'm not going to force anyone. But if you don't vote for this man called Babajide Samuel, the present governor of Lagos State, you are on your own. As simple as ABC. The organization is a cultural organization, highly apolitical. And uh, I can't talk much about politics, especially in social media. I cannot talk about it. The someone that can ask this ask this question properly is uh, the President General of Ohaneze Nibu, um, which is not even a politician because Ohaneze is Ohaneze, is Professor George Ubiozo. 
But I'm talking of where I resided here in Lagos. That I can do everything possible. Because if we have the governor, we can as well have the president that can work with him and things will go smoothly. And that is the only way I can tell you. And this is a proverb. If you have the governor as I live in Lagos State and you have a, a president that can work with him, then life is easier for us as Igbos. And this one is a question mark. But the person to clear this is my president general, President George Obiozo Ohaneze Worldwide is in charge. So he can say us Dalit Ibos on national level. I do my job in Lagos State. Just like they said Ibos are coming to attack Lagos. These are rumors. They are not true. And if anybody issue any statement that is not so rumor about Lagos, I am the actor's leader. It is completely not a void. It's right. There is no truth on that. The Ibos will never attack where they have the highest investment. The Yorubas is the best friends of Fundibo. I can tell you this because I've been here since 1981. I live in Lagos to 1981. Ibo man cannot have best any friend again more than Yoruba as a tribe. Because I can tell you a lot that made me confirm with the Yoruba people that the mo they are the most closeness. When you look at their wife, it is only on Yoruba man wife that an Ibo man wife can move together and do transaction together. Let's not talk about men. Talk about who you can release your wife to go to in confidence. I have lived my, with my friend, a Yoruba man who lives in the UK because of an apartment problem with my wife for a few months, if not a year, before he located back to Abiyokute. My last question. How do you think we can correct marginalization so that no regions will be crying foul? Well, for that, like I tell you, um, social cultural organization, like uh, you can <laughs> you can say it time and time, but Ohane is a social cultural organization, highly apolitical. We have no allocation. If you don't have money, you can determine your friend's future. It is money, the allocation. We are not controlling money like people in Abuja or anywhere. A whole Ohaneze Ndibo. It is the tippers they are giving to us to run Ohaneze Secret. Somebody will tell you to come and do account. How much do I pay today for social media? How much do I pay yesterday to hold a meeting? You spend more than one million naira if you do meeting two times in a month. Not do this is a grassroots organization that you dash people money that they have no transport to go home day by day. Are you with me? So that is that question you ask me is a question you can answer by some senators. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. There are rumors that um uh, uh, that um the Eagles are coming to um uh, Lagos to attack uh, certain areas. In Lagos, in Lagos, how true is this? You are the head, you are the head of Oanis in Lagos. Can you respond to that, um, um, My response is very simple. My response is very simple. If people want to use Igbo people to wage the atrocity, they can say anything in social media. This is where. We have the highest population of Fundibo. And I can tell you this as the apex leader of Fundibo in Lagos State. I am number one person in, when you talk of Igbo people, I am number one person. And anything I tell you about Igbo people, please, that's 100% sure about them. I sleep with them, I work with them. I have over 1,300 people that attend the meeting I convened last week. And we always 
discuss about security and what this Lagos state, the present government, head by Babajide Samuel, have done to Ndibo. Babajide Samuel is not just a governor, but friend of Ndibo. All the Igbo elites, the millionaires, the billionaires, whoever you are, knows Babajide Samuel. They are friends. They are not just. They are not just. They are not just uh, people that uh, 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 they, they, they is governing. They are friends, personal friends. And I have done everything, even with the tips they are giving us every month. I use it to make sure I tell my people the relationship. There is no other tribe that Igbo man can go and sleep and snore and wake up. Not only your man as a friend, but also a woman. It's only Yoruba as a tribe, especially in Lagos State, that my wife and my friend wife as a Yoruba man can move to UK and live together and come back to Lagos and live together. And I will not be worried. No other tribe will trust a wife to Igbo man or a Yoruba man, if not Igbos and Yoruba. So there's nobody is coming to Lagos to attack anybody. Igbos are not coming to attack when we have the highest investment in the world. When we have the highest population in the world. I've been living in Lagos since 1981, and people are saying that Igbo are coming here to attack this, attack that, attack what they have. Can you attack your head? Here is like our head for what when we talk about our investment. So we cannot attack ourselves. After suffering coming to Lagos, Lagos is a blessing land, Yoruba land is a blessing land. We come with empty hand and we go home triumphantly. So we must know that the Igbos respect the land. We come as a tenant and go and go back as an estate owner. It's a blessing land to Nibo. Nibo can never attack Lagos State. And they never thought of nobody. Even those that are saying those are saying this I just want to cause problems so that Igbos will not settle down. They should allow us to settle down anywhere we are because we know how to develop anywhere we are better than even our own. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.